No Deal Brexit is now looking like a distinct possibility for the UK at the end of this year. What should you stockpile in the event of a No Deal Brexit? Brexit trade talks have continually hit a wall, with a Brexit trade deal looking less and less likely as the deadline looms closer. Both sides are now increasingly aware of the prospect of a no-deal Brexit, as each has failed to reach a compromise over what access Britain will have to EU markets and goods following the end of this year. The Department for Environment, Food and Rural Affairs, DEFRA, said consumers should be assured they will still continue to have access to a range of different products post-Brexit. The department said, the UK has a high level of food security built upon a diverse range of sources including strong domestic production and imports from other countries. This will continue to be the case whether we leave with or without a deal. The beginning of the coronavirus crisis saw shoppers scramble in supermarkets for supplies like toilet roll and pasta, amid fears of a lockdown. Supermarkets were even forced to ration some items to make sure supplies were sold evenly. While it turned out that the UK was adequately fed throughout the crisis, stockpiling is a natural reaction to extreme uncertainty. A no-deal Brexit will bring some of the most uncertain times the UK has ever seen, and the question of whether supply chains for food and medicine will be disrupted is becoming more and more pertinent as we approach the deadline for a trade deal. The UK imports 40% of its food, and around a third of all food consumed in the UK comes from EU member states, so there is a real chance of a shortage in the event of a no-deal scenario next year. When the UK was due to leave the EU in 2019, major supermarkets warned the government that a no-deal Brexit will result in empty shelves. It is not irrational, it's not project fear. Stockpiling, is now a perfectly sensible thing to do, Professor Clifford Scott, a collective psychology expert at Keele University. Professor Tim Benton, an expert in food systems from the University of Leeds, said he did not foresee the UK running out of food but believed there could be situations where we cannot reliably get what we expect to see on the shelves on a daily basis. He said the most likely disruption would be caused by panic buying and urged people not to overreact.